Most modern diesel engines have a diesel particulate filter, or DPF, as a component of the exhaust system. The DPF is designed to cleanse harmful particulate matter from the exhaust gas, improving vehicle emissions and global air quality. During combustion, fuel and air is burned as efficiently as possible. However, inevitably, a small quantity of fuel is not completely combusted, emitting particulates into the exhaust. A DPF captures many of these particulates, keeping them from being released into the environment. As exhaust gas is created during combustion, it flows into a DPF and through a porous surface, which is designed to block particulates above a certain size from passing through. Typically, after enough particulates are captured, it leads to a build-up of pressure, called back pressure. At that time, the filter goes through either a passive or active regenerative process to burn off the particulates. In passive regeneration, if the exhaust temperature is high enough for a long enough period, a catalyst on the surface helps burn off captured particulates. In active regeneration, excess fuel is typically burned to increase the temperature and burn off the captured particulates. All engine oils contain chemistry that produces ash. If these ash particles are caught in the DPF, those particles can never pass through the filter and, over time, they will eventually block a significant portion of the filter, hindering its performance. DPFs only work when engine oils with low SAPS chemistry are used. Using an incorrect lubricant will quickly lead to DPF failures, which is typically detected during a vehicle's annual inspection. This could lead to an expensive repair or replacement cost. However, a well-maintained DPF through the combustion of low SAPS engine oil will maintain cleaner air for everyone. Minimising the impact of diesel vehicle emissions